Hi, this is Becky Long, and first thing I would like to do is wish everyone a Merry Christmas, and I hope everyone's having a great day. Uh, I'm in a swap with Emma Mangivigo. Oh, Emma, I cannot pronounce your last name, but I will put it in the description box below. Um, this is part of the swap that I have been working on for her, and, um, it's a gingerbread theme, and I got my inspiration from Carol Herlock. And um, so let's just get right into it. First of all, I ran across pot holders at the Dollar Tree, so I had to pick this up to go with the theme of my of her box. So it's an oven mitt and, and um, pot holders, and so the, that will that will be in her box. First thing, oh, and also uh, I've included a coffee mug with, and it's got little gingerbread on it. And it's just one of those from Dollar Tree, and I added a cocoa on the inside. And then, first thing I'm going to show you is I made her a mini album slash cookbook slash photo book, you know, uh, what she would like to do with it and like I said totally got the inspiration from Carol uh, from Carol and so let's just get right into it uh, I used a lot of cottage cut dye cottage cut dyes cut out my um, mason jar with my silhouette and then okay for the front cover I use some uh, plaid paper added a doily, some polka dot paper, and then popped this up, the white up on, and it's um, 110 pound card stock, and I popped it on uh, pop dots, added the um, gingerbread house. This was a challenge, but it was a fun challenge, because all these little pieces are separate, <laughs> but so the when you have good tweezers, it's easy to pick them up. So, and then I made um, the poinsettias, a, re a red and a pink one. Added a seam bound and bow at the top, a little doily, and then peppermint. This is a sticker and it's just a little peppermint. And then the first, I guess the first thing we need to do is uh, untie it. I have it tied really tight. Okay, here we go. The first thing is her, the inside is I added the uh, I cut it out with some um, real pretty um, what would this be called? Um, just plaid paper with gold trim running through it. And so um, she can put a recipe here or a picture. She has grandchildren, so I'm hoping she will bake cookies with her grandchildren and make and put pictures in, in here along with some recipes. I make the poinsettias, add a little lace and some for my stash, made a little gingerbread. And this page has a pocket and front the front of it is the I put a doily and added a cupcake gingerbread from Cottage Cut and holding a spatula. And it says hugs and kisses. Uh, then I made us uh, tags. And it's um, just like Carol. I printed off compute on my computer with uh, some uh, sentiments for the for the tags. These are just smaller mason jars. And this one says fresh baked. And this one is uh, sweet and warm. And then I just added some baker's twine around them and some jingle bells. And then this, the next page, it's kind of hard to hold. Uh, again, another pocket. I added um, a little, another cottage cut, cut die. And added the little spatulas, you know, just getting ready to bake the cookies. And a little sticker with uh, Christmas trees that look like cookies to me. And two more tags with the jingle bells and fresh from the oven and I'm not sure what that one says. This one 
Yes, um, I put the gingerbread and he, um, put some lace trim up here. A gingerbread on a dolly. Love is homemade. He's miss, he's stirring his batter. And then this lifts up and she can put a photo or a recipe. I just made a simple tag and add a little gingerbread inside. So that closes with a magnet. And the next page is this uh, gingerbread house sticker in my stash so I just thought it would be good to have it on here and um, this unties and she can it has two folders and she can add recipes or pictures on the tags and then it opens this way so I hope I'm in frame. So there's the gingerbread house. And it closes with magnets. It opens this way. And then um, pocket here. And then um, I added a, a cookie jar. And then a little uh, Michael's sticker. A little felt sticker of a gingerbread man. And then the cookies are from the uh, same guy that the cookie jar is on. And I just popped them up a little bit. No, I cut them with foam so they would pop up. And then it closes. And I'll tie it back. I want to also add it. Yeah, that, that's that side. I added some bling at the top. A little bit of lace underneath. And then that closes back. Like this side is, uh, I added a big bow at the top for the peppermint. Two more tags. And then just some trim. Uh, I cut this with, um, I punched this with my Martha, Martha Stewart punch and then just added on a little girl, a cookie star, a, excuse me, it's a, it's a star and it looks like a cookie and it's a sticker. Add a little mixer and little girl's cooking. And then this page, um, some more, whoops, that's just hard to do. Some more lace trim at the top, another poinsettia, and then uh, I didn't have a gingerbread stamp, so I just printed this off Pinterest, and it's a, a gingerbread cookie recipe. And you just pick it up, and there you have another tag, another cottage cut die, and then I added, uh, this is called Making Cookies, I think. And I had a little cookie cutter that was in my stash. And I, I think I got this at Hobby Lobby. You know, they come with buttons, but they also have a little, looks like a cookie cutter. So that, I added that in. And the little pocket holds, holds the gingerbread and the tag. And that closes back. And then the last page is, um, I added some ruffled lace, a big felt bow. Two more tags for the jingle bells, uh, some lace across the bottom, and then just added the candy canes. So that that's my first project for her, and it's a gingerbread house. So I'll put that there. Then I made a this part I have made for several of my friends, and I consider Emma a very dear friend. So. She's getting a box, too. So this is an apron die that I had in my stash. And again, this is inspired by Carol. And um, but I added a poinsettia. And trust me, I don't want to make poinsettias again for a long time. <laughs> but I did. But I added lace at the bottom. Added a little pocket. We took a little gingerbread in. A sticker. And then the other mitt, and then it says gingerbread kitchen. And then the tags are. Okay, this is the first tag, and these are using cottage cut dies. Um, I did the poinsettia, and then I just layered some different card stocks and paper, added a little gingerbread cupcake in the center, and I used that also in my cookbook. 
added some bling around the edges and then the back is um, just left plain and she can put a picture or write recipes uh, use the tags to go um, bake goods that she's given away you know whatever her choice is if she's making gingerbread this would be perfect to put on them okay set them to the side all right this is uh, the little girl and she's busy busy she's got her uh, kitchen aid mixer going and she's got her uh, piping bag ready to pipe and make some real pretty cookies but uh, so she's making her cookie dough in the in the batter that in the yeah the batter bowl so uh, I hope y'all understand that because my voice is sounding funny <laughs> but I did the same thing <coughs> excuse me I added I used 110 uh, pound cardstock for my base added some papers different papers this has little bitty dot uh, I mean real tiny white dots but you can barely pick it up but and then I added the red and the larger polka dots and the little girl in pink so and these I make the bows using uh, ribbon from Hobby Lobby and then this tag is the little boy he's making his cookie dough too and getting that gingerbread ready to go in the oven so he has uh, this is cottage to cut by too and I've popped all of my little gingerbread up the way I did it is I used the thick um, foam boards and I cut I cut it out and then I cut my gingerbread out and put him on top so he he's got some dimension to him pop my little bow up and add the bling it's, and then the same as the back and then this one is a shaker card you know gotta have our shakers and so uh poinsettia the same the same thing except this is a plaid instead of red added the i popped it up i cut it with foam foam board and uh, glued it all together put my sequin mix in it and then add my little gingerbread so these are going her in with her um let me get these back in here. Okay. Then I got this inspiration from, uh, excuse me, her name is uh, this, this Southern Girl Can. Um, this is a Dollar Tree cutting board. And she has the tutorial, so go check her out. But you you should you take your cutting board, you mod. Uh, she even supplied the recipe, so I printed it off, and um, mod podged it onto the cutting board. The cookie cutter with the little gingerbread man is a ornament from Walmart, so I added that, and then I added the a pick from the Dollar Tree. And she shows you exactly how to put this together. So I just loved it. Thought this would be perfect for what I'm doing. And then um, I made a little goodie box. And inside this box, well, she has um, some goodies in the base. I cut this with my silhouette. Um, added my. I cut the trim out and glitter paper the door and windows all of all the trim is cut out in glitter paper added a wreath to the door with a big bow and just closed it with a ribbon and inside she has chocolates on the bottom um, peppermints I'm not sure what all the candy parts are and then I put some hot cocoa and um, no Hot cocoa goes in her tub, and I'm adding a gingerbread cookie. So that's the gingerbread part of it. Then I made her, me and Emma both love shabby chic. So let me get.
get what I've got made for her. This I was sitting behind me, so just bear with me a second. Okay. I made her a little house. And um hope y'all can see it. She has uh, what I had did is I painted the house pink, then came back over it with glitter. And then I sealed my glitter. I, I put it on and then I came back over it with, again with Mod Pod. Um, added some bows at the windows. Added some uh, snow on the windows. That's that puffy thing. Added some little uh, bottle nut, bottle neck trees. A little snowman with a little... Um, um, not sure what he's holding. I I think it's a cardinal, but it's a little bird. So, and then the top is done with um, with glitter to mimic uh, snow on the rooftop. I added black back pearls, and then the inside. Let me set that to the side. The inside, I'm gonna tilt it where you can see. I made just a little like it's you're in your home. Um, not sure if you can see in it or not, but I had a little Christmas tree, and then a little fireplace, a wreath above the fireplace, and cut out just two little fake, um, I, I stamped it and cut the chairs out and just put them in the corner like they're sitting by the fireplace, and then a dolly on the bottom, and then um, including a tea light that she can sit on the dolly and turn on and this will light up so i hope she likes that i put snow tack around like it's uh, snow all around the house all the windows have the bows on them and um, so i hope emma likes likes the, the little house and then the top just sits back on top of it and then the last thing i made her um again this inspiration came from Carol, and these are my Christmas lanterns. I love these. <laughs> um, these turned out so pretty and so shabby, and like I said, me and Emma both like shabby. So there's so I made her a set of those. I'm gonna set one. Two over here and so I can explain it to you. Uh, this is Tim Holtz uh, lantern die. Uh, no, luminary die. Excuse me. Um, you cut your, you cut it out twice and the, or you cut your pieces and then you adhere them. These are four panels and you cut out. Um, I do think you cut it out twice. Uh, and then you just, it's got the you just bend your flaps in and glue it. I added some acetate, and then the little roof is just uh, like a little star type. And so what I did is um, following some, uh, you know, just after watching a lot of Carol's videos, she uses a lot of the Laughing Cow uh, containers to do her, so that's what this, the base of this is, is a laughing cow container, I'm going to show, turn around where you, you can actually see that it's like that, I added some lace around, added some uh, ruffled lace, uh, this is on a candlestick that I had painted and glittered, and then um, I made some poinsettias to go here, this is some, um, I got the greenery, I want to say Dollar Tree. I painted it so it gives it a frosty look. Added a poinsettia on the base of this. And then this, you pick up and you turn your tea light on. And I added a little poinsettia there. But um, I made a little base for the tea light to sit on. And let's see if I can get this to come on. how it would will be. I love this. I did a 
seam binding bow, added some bling in the center, and then it just it just looks wintry, and I, I hope she likes it as much as I like making it for her. This was a challenge, but I finally figured out how to do it by watching some tutorials and got it done. So, uh, Emma, I hope you have, this concludes everything, and I hope you have a very Merry Christmas. I'm going to get this packed up and get it out, I hope, in tomorrow. And um, y'all go check her out. And Carol and the Southern Girl can. Both are all awesome crafters. So I want to wish everyone a Merry Christmas. And more importantly, well, not more importantly, because Christmas is very special. That's when our Savior was born. And uh, But I would like to wish you a Merry Christmas and a happy, healthy New Year. And so uh, thanks for watching, and y'all have a great day. Bye.